What is the maximum cantilever or unsupported overhang? I heard one guy say it was the depth of the lumber. He was using a two by six, so his maximum cantilever was five and a half inches. Close, but no. The distance a joist can cantilever or overhang depends on several factors, including the size and type of wood, the spacing between the joists, and the building department limits in your state. Check local building codes before you build anything. The American Wood Council says cantilevers should be limited to a maximum of one quarter of the joist span. Many building departments limit joist cantilevers to a maximum of 24 inches. So if the span between beam supports is eight feet, the maximum cantilever length is two feet. This is not a hard and fast rule. I was taught in architecture school that the cantilever could be one half of the distance of the joist behind the cantilever. But that also depends on several other factors. So here I'm framing my 12 foot wide cabin with a two foot cantilever on either side. And the joist will be spaced 24 inches on center. I've already built a platform 12 feet wide by 16 feet long. Now I'm going to place some beams two feet in from the edge. If the beams are eight feet apart, I won't need another one in the middle. Now I'm gonna place some posts two feet from the ends. These will be attached with Simpson ties or brackets of some kind. I will add another post in the middle later in this video. Now I'm gonna turn on the shadows to make it more comprehensible. Now I'm going to glue and screw quarter inch panels to the top side and you will see why in a minute. Now I'm going to flip the whole thing over. Now I can put my insulation in the joist cavities. Now I can put my three quarter inch subfloor on top of the platform. Now I can start building my walls.
Now I'm going to need one stud in every corner as an inside nailing surface. Now I can insulate the walls. Here I'm going to put a beam on the top plate that will extend out eight feet for the porch. I will put a post under that beam later. That still gives me two and a half inches to set the loft joists on the top plate. Then I decided I wanted a 12 inch overhang in the back. Now I'm putting in the upper floor joists, but I need to leave room for the gable wall framing. Sometimes I confuse myself when all the lines look the same. I want a loft on both ends, but I also want a sloped ceiling. I'm planning on a 612 roof pitch, so the loft will only be for storage. I'm just figuring this out as I go along, so here I'm trying to figure out how to frame the gable wall. First I need to add a ridge beam.
Now I'm going to add some siding. I'm going to use tongue and groove because it's easy for one person to do by themselves. Now I'm going to install the furring strips for the roofing material. Now I'm going to make a standing seam metal roof. I would like it to be copper. But what color is copper? Oh, that looks really close. Now I'm going to build the gable wall up to the roof.
Now I'm going to install some flooring. I'm just using some 1x12s. Now I'm going to add an extra post on the long side because that span is 12 feet and I can't span 12 feet with a 2x6. Now I'm going to put some siding on the front. Wouldn't that be called fronting? Now I'm going to build out the porch. Now I need to frame the front door. I'm just going to leave the middle stud for right now because it's in the right place and it will be there, only shorter. Now that I have my finished floor in, I'm going to have to add a sill for the door. Now I need to cut a hole in the siding for the door. I probably should not have created that tongue and groove because it made this process a pain in the ass. I didn't really like the brown siding, so I went online to look at some actual tongue and groove siding, and I found this blue pine beetle kill, which I thought was really cool. So I decided to make my own. The orientation of the texture didn't come out exactly right, but it's okay for now. Now I can cut out the hole for the door. I don't know why this is happening. Sometimes SketchUp has a mind of its own.
There must be an easier way.